My name is Erin Bradley. I'm a teacher at Brian Evan Primary School, which is in South Africa, Johannesburg. And we are a school that's been using Purple Mash to promote coding. This lesson is on the 15th of August with Zianda Magubani. We have been streaming and promoting our videos to ensure that learners have some sort of resource to work through. And I'm doing a video here with the famous Zianda Magubani, one of the best in our school. So, Zianda, look over here. This is where we get the work that I need to do. Look over here. See this red one here? That's called the to-dos. That's the work the teacher said for you. Click on snail race because that's the work we must do now. Zianda's clicking on snail race and we are recording a video. So we can't talk to anyone. Go to the first challenge. Make the snail move. Okay, go. We could watch this video. Guys, I would suggest that when you do it, you do watch the video. But me and Zianda are not going to watch it. I'm going to close that. Close there, Zianda. Now look over here. It says, when the snail wants to race, make it move forward one step. When, click, so click on there. And look what it says. Make it move forward one step after clicking the background. So we're not going to click on the snail. We're clicking on the background. So Zianna, drag this block over here, the when clicked event, into the code over there. Bring it there, that one, like this. Drag it and put it in there. Good girl. Now it says we went clicking on the background. So choose background. Good girl. And then what must happen? The snail, drag snail into there. Because the snail is going to move forward. It's not going to move backwards. It's going to move forward. Forward. Look for the word forward. It's going to move forward. Okay. And it's going to move how much? One step. Marvelous job there. Guys, give a hand. Right, now we're going to test to see if Zianna got it right. So play the code. Good girl. Now let's click on the background. Anything but the snail. The snail is in the foreground, but click on the background. Click on the background. Press your mouse button and click here. The snail's moving. Now you see the snail's moving one step. That's the speed of the snail's movement as they're going to be racing against each other. Zianda can now test her code and she could play around and change that to two or three. But Zianda, let's go to the next challenge because we're showing everyone in the class our work. Don't forget to watch the video, guys. The other snails are numbered one to five. Make each snail move the number of steps equal to their number so that's easy to do close that to under you're so good now it says when clicking on the background each snail moved by the number of steps so now snail one moves one step bring in snail two into the when clicked background block okay that's snail three snail two bring it in we're dragging in the objects onto the coding section all right there we go look at what she's done now snail two must go forward how many steps two steps because it's called snail two and remember snail three we're going to make it go up three steps is he under look there go up through this this up arrow that one over there will make it go become a two that this number will change the up arrow takes the speed of the snail up and the down arrow takes the snail's speed down Hey, good girl. Oh, you so good. Now drag the snail three. How many steps must that one go? Because it's snail three, it must go three steps. See, under bring in snail three, four, and five, and do the very same thing that you did now with snail two. There, good. Look what she's doing. Snail three. How many steps must it be? It must be three. Clever. Now do that with snail four and with snail five. That guy, you're not even doing, you're supposed to do the snails. 
You're not even doing the snail work. How are you going to be a good coder if you don't do the work? This girl got five stars. What's your name? Angela. So good. Well done. Keep on coding, guys. Okay, but you're learning coding. Right, so look at that. She's going on snail five. So she's going to make which? What's the number going to be of snail five? Five. Zeander, so good. You're not even listening to Zeander. You are marvelous. Zeander, let's test it to see if it works. Now we must go to the play button to see if it all works. Look at your computer screen. Good girl. And press in the background. Remember, we're going to click on the background to make the snails move. Hey, click. Come on, I want to see you on the click event. See, under you must press. There we go. And look, this one's going one step at a time. This one's going two, three steps at a time, four and five. Go over there, Zeander. Good girl. This one, let's read it. Make the snail move a random number. How exciting is that? A random number is the computer chooses. It's a form of automation. Watch over here, Zeander. It says forward one step. Now the computer must choose. Okay, click on the forward one, the one. Click on the one, my dear. Zeander, and now... Click on random, because random means the computer can choose a number. And look there, guys, the computer's choosing a number between 1 and 10. Now go to the next one and do the same over here to this snail 3. That's the green snail. You're still going to learn about automation. And choose random. Remember, you're getting the computer to choose any number between 1 and 10. And go to the fourth one, the one that says snail 4. Do the same there. Now, boys and girls, you know what's exciting about this? Is that the computer then chooses the numbers, and we don't know which snail will win. Each snail's got an equal amount of chance. Now, play that, see, under. Let's see which snail's going to win, because the computer can choose the different speeds. Click on the background, and let's see. Not on the snail, on the background. Click on it. Click on the background. And look, oh, woo, which one's going faster? The green one. That's number three. My eyes are so bad, I can't even see. Zeander's got good eyes. Okay, Zeander. So that was good. Now let's go again to the next challenge. And this is about finding the fault. Debugging. Right? And this one says one of the snails isn't moving. Oh, it's broken. Look, if I click over here, the snails, click on the background. On the background. All the snails should move. But you see over here where well, the snail's not moving. So let's just make it a little smaller. Oh, one of them's wrong. Zeander, we have to put something in there. Look, there's the mistake. Fix it. You fix it there, go. You so good, Zeander. Fix it. Look what she's doing. See, look what Zeander's doing. Okay. And she's giving a number three. That's fine. Now click on the background. Oh, there they go. And look, it says Zeander got everything right. Now, boys and girls, don't go and finish. You click OK. And now you must make your own. And this is also interesting, the code. Good luck, grade twos, with doing the whole activity. Let's give another hand to Zeander.